Yes, I'm quite happy to share the story with my husband. Um, he was a catalyst, if you like. He, he uh, with the back injury that he had from his car accident, he enjoyed me uh, rubbing his feet. So I went and uh, did night school, night school course, and then that wasn't enough. And then opened the door to reflexology and did a CPD uh, course. And... Um, trained in that and that opened the door to all sorts of different areas including stress and diet and, and stress management and so on uh, that then led me down the route that I'm on now. My journey um, has been through a practitioner route but I found that it wasn't giving me the results. It gave me a set of results but it wasn't giving me the results that I was looking for and it would work for a while, but then it would reoccur again because people weren't getting the longer lasting results that both of us were looking for. And because of that, it was, I, I had tools, but they didn't go deep enough. So I then started a quest of my own to find out why, why people didn't recover, why some people recovered faster than others and so on. So looking at all the permutations. Challenging question about anxiety in others and stress that we live. Um, it's not black and white as I've explained today. The areas of anxiety and fear that and trauma that we take on board and live isn't necessarily ours. We haven't created it but we live it because of the uh, the biological function and brain pathway transference from the womb and then absorbing from being around people with with those sort of disorders uh, we will then absorb into us so in answer to your question there isn't one one answer but i would suggest that people start looking at is it theirs? Asking the question, is it yours? Is it your anxiety? Is it your stress? Is it your fear? Or has it come from transference and inherited generational trauma? And I think if we start questioning more about ourselves, then it gives us a broader spectrum of what's going on and a little bit more understanding. Mm -hmm.